If the last 600 years have taught us anything, it is that popes don't quit. There is no league of retired pontiffs, no Holy Father rest home. It is a job for life, or at least it was, until this morning when over a billion Catholics did a collective double take at the news that Benedict XVI had just given his two weeks notice in Latin. So why now? What does it mean for the church and who could possibly replace him? Here's my co-anchor, Terry Moran. It seemed an ordinary rainy Monday in the Vatican, except maybe for that lightning bolt striking St. Peter's. Dominus vobis cum. Pope Benedict XVI gathered a group of cardinals for a small ceremony, the canonization of three saints. His bombshell came at the end. He spoke in Latin, the ancient language of the church. I have come to the certainty, he said, that my strengths due to an advanced age are no longer suited to an adequate exercise of the papacy. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Around the world, from ordinary parishioners to Vatican insiders, the reaction was the same. Today's decision by Benedict XVI to resign from the papacy came as a huge surprise to me and I think to everyone in Rome and also to everyone in the Vatican. For almost 600 years, it hadn't happened. For almost 600 years, popes died in office. So with this one stroke, Benedict XVI changed history. No one alive has ever seen anything like that happen. And the dynamics of that, I think, are completely unknown. been talked about as an act of God. The Vatican, struck by lightning on the same day Pope Benedict XVI, shocked his cardinals by announcing his resignation. The frequently stumbling pontiff has long stayed off rumours of deteriorating health. In this instance, he's caught napping during a moment of sanctity while visiting the flock in Malta. Benedict began his reign as Catholicism's mitre-wielding man of cloth in his late 70s. He endured a broken wrist and a very public attack, giving rise to concerns that he may become vulnerable after suffering a stroke. Just recently, and perhaps another sign from God, the pontiff's dove of peace found itself flying solo against a wall. The symbol of harmony and purity was then set upon by a vengeful seagull, leaving the faithful questioning the mind of God. Perhaps the reign of Benedict is ending not because of his age or health, but because he simply didn't have the cool factor of the Pope who went before him. Extraordinary pictures which came to us from the Vatican on what was of course an extraordinary day. Within hours of Pope Benedict announcing that he was to resign, take a look at this. Lightning struck St Peter's Basilica. You can see it again now in slow motion. Extraordinary. It happened just before six o'clock in the evening local time. We'll